Rabbi Tovia Singer is an Orthodox Jewish rabbi and the founder and director of Outreach Judaism. He's a well-known debater and counter-missionary and runs a popular YouTube channel. Because he's a vocal critic of Christianity, he's well-liked by many atheists and has been on skeptical channels like Myth Vision and Gnostic Informant. In this video, Rabbi Singer repeats the common claim that we don't know who wrote the Gospels. In his first clip, Singer claims that there are many Gospels, but only four made the cut. Christians have speculated about this question. Church fathers wondered about why the four Gospels. As it turns out, there are a lot more than four Gospels, a lot more than 10 Gospels, a lot more than 20 Gospels. It's just four Gospels that made it into the canon. So there's a Gospel of Peter. I'm really happy the Gospel of Peter never made it in. It almost did. When you say that there were many Gospels, but only four made it into the New Testament canon, it makes it sound like there was some sort of wide open free-for-all when it came to making up stories about Jesus. But because of politics, just four made it into the Bible. While this is a very popular argument, it is revisionist history. For starters, the four Gospels are the earliest biographies of Jesus that we have. They all date back to the first century. All the apocryphal Gospels, including the Gospel of Peter, were written in the second century or later. This is almost universally acknowledged by scholars. What's crazy to me is that Singer says that the Gospel of Peter almost made it into the New Testament canon, but this is just laughable. <laughs> Are you serious? So what do we know about this book? The Gospel of Peter was mentioned by the 4th century church historian Eusebius. Eusebius only mentions that this supposed Gospel of Peter had been the topic of debate in the Church of Rasus. In around 200 AD, a bishop from Antioch named Serapion had originally authorized the document for reading in the Church of Rasus. However, upon closer inspection of its contents, Serapion rejected the work. He wrote, Most of it belonged to the right teaching of the Savior, but that some parts might encourage its hearers to fall into the heresy of docetism. For those of you who don't know, docetism is the belief that Christ's body was not human, but some kind of weird ethereal celestial substance. Therefore, Jesus' sufferings were only apparent. This is probably the reason why Jesus' cry of dereliction on the cross is given in the form, my power, my power, why have you forsaken me? Also, it says that, but he, Jesus, remained silent as if he was not in pain. This is describing Jesus' alleged behavior while he was on the cross. Outside of this reference in Eusebius, the third century church leader Origen casually refers to it in his commentary on Matthew when discussing Jesus' brothers but he doesn't approve of it or discredit it. The book of Second Clement quotes it a couple of times approvingly, but this book is also considered to be a forgery. And that's basically about it. At no time was the Gospel of Peter considered to be a serious contender for making it into the New Testament. Now, I can certainly understand why Singer is grateful that this Gospel didn't make it into the canon. One of its striking features is how much blame is laid at the feet of the Jews for the crucifixion of Jesus. While this allegation is found in the canonical Gospels, Pilate is particularly exonerated in this text. That isn't the only major difference from our Gospels found in the Gospel of Peter. At the resurrection, Jesus is seen coming out of the tomb with his head reaching up above the clouds and followed by a giant talking cross. So while Singer is right to point out that there were other Gospels in circulation before the New Testament canon was formalized, he is off his rocker here by acting like the Gospel of Peter was considered to be orthodox or apostolic. We're not off to a particularly promising start and we're just a few seconds into the video. Since this video is already long enough, I'll leave it here for now and we'll continue examining Singer's claims in the next video.